This is the major and the most important breeding calving ground of humpback whales in the North Pacific. A large number, we're talking over 10,000 humpback whales are gonna be here throughout the whale breeding calving season, which is here, we're, it's upon us. be a queue on a patrol. We were reviewing our operations towards freeing a large whale from a life-threatening entanglement. So it's unique for both sides, both the NOAA fisheries and the sanctuary program dealing with these large whales, and with the Coast Guard side, working together, taking advantage of our different expertise, our skill sets, our resources, to come together, pull those resources, and get the job done safely. We had to simulate our whale, our entangled whale. We had one Coast Guard asset, uh, one of the 45s, be the whale. Whale still up, fourth breath. And tow some gear behind it, representing the entanglement. The other 45-foot vessel, Coast Guard vessel in this case, was the approach boat getting close enough, in this case, a very important role, and that is putting a transmitter package on that whale via the entanglement, via the trailing gear, uh, grappling it in. Taking the shot! And that would allow us to hold on to our whale. Good. So that the next day, when we had the resources and the proper conditions to safely free that whale, we could come together and do that. To have them come teach us how to do it is an honor. I took away experience first and foremost being able to be more comfortable in that situation will be outstanding when I run into this or if I run into this problem. We've had whales drag gear from Alaska, so it's very important to be prepared for this type of operation. But when you throw the 40-ton animal that's 45 feet long, it's unique enough that we need to be prepared and do these exercises working together as a team.